What is the board at the back here? This is called the what? Occipital bone. Can you see the occipital bone? Yes. How do you spell occipital bone? O-C-C-I-P-I-T-E-L. Just be careful, be aware of that uh, camera there. We're trying to document this for posterity. What is the bone on the side here? Parietal bone. What is the lobe of the brain in the parietal bone? Parietal lobe. For what function? Sensory. Okay, pinch me, pinch me. It's painful. Did it go to my parietal lobe? It did. We go to the back again. What's the name of the bone at the back, please? And what is the lobe of the brain in the occipital bone? Very good. Does it protect? What is the function of the occipital lobe, my dear students? Vision. Visual cortex for vision. Sense of sight. Okay, let's move down to the cervical spine. How many cervical vertebrae do we have? Seven. Seven. Okay, look at me. If you move your neck forward and backwards, you're moving your neck from left, front, like this? Mm -hmm. Like yes or no, right? Yeah. No is this way? Do you know that, right? See the difference? Okay. So we have C1. To C7, what's the name of the C1 class? And what's the name of C2? Access. Very good. Okay. Now, in front, what is the name of the, ch the breastbone? Sternum. Sternum. You see the manubrium? Yes. The body and the cyphoid process. What do you call the bone in the upper arm? Humerus. The humerus. You have the right humerus and then what? Left. Left humerus. What about the bones in the forearm? Radius and ulna, and then you have the carpal bones and the metacarpal bone. Do you see that, right? Yeah. And now we move on to the back. Okay. What do you see here? You see the scapula, right? Yes. What's another name for scapula? Scapula is also known as your what? Shoulder blade bone, right? Right? Okay, and later on we'll talk about the muscles, we can see all of them. Now let's move down to the hip bone. What do you call the bone in front? Pubic bone, right? And then on top here would be what? Okay, everybody touch your ilium. Very good. Now what is the bone where you're sitting on when you sit? Iscum, very good. Now this time I want you to move your hololens Direct your attention to the biggest, longest thigh bone. What's the name of that bone? Yeah. And then the, the one that came out in the quiz today that protects the knee? Yeah. And the bone in the leg. There are two bones. The, thick, the biggest weight-bearing bone is known as the? Yeah. Fibula. And then the smallest bone on the left side? Fibula. Fibula. And then you have your what? Tarsal bones. Right? Tarsal bones. Okay, now, we can move to the next system from skeletal. Let's move to the what? Muscle. So now I want you to move to the menu on the left, right? Get rid of skeletal, go to muscles. Okay. Okay, make sure you get rid of skeletal, go to muscular system. Very good. Do you have the muscles now with you? Yes. Okay, what is the name of the muscle in front? Frontalis. Frontalis. Don't you love anatomy, right? It's so simple. Keep it simple, student. K-I-S-S. -S. What, what does K-I-S-S -S mean? Yes. Keep it simple, smart student of West Coast. <laughs> Are you not? You're the best in the West, right? Okay, what is the muscle around the eye? Uh, orbicularis what? You see the label there? Orbicularis oculi. What about the muscle around the mouth? Uh, our visitors might want to use our um, oven. Our guests might want to use the hollow lens if they want to. Orbicularis oculi is out with him. Or Adam. Yeah. Or Dr. Bakhtiari can help them. Okay, what do you call the muscle for smiling? Everybody smile. Zygomatic. Okay, everybody smile. Do you know how to smile, class? I think you got a perfect score in the exam today, right? Zygomatic is major. Okay, on the right side, can everybody move? Touch your angle of the jaw. Open and close your mouth. Masseter. The muscle for opening and closing the mouth is called what? Masseter. Is it masseter or massacre? Masseter. Okay, very good. Massacre is different. Masseter is the spelling. M-A-S-S-E-T-E-R. And what is this muscle for? Chewing. Chewing. Chewing and opening the mouth, right? 
What is the muscle in the temple? Temporalis. OMG. Don't you like it? Yeah. Temporalis in the temple. The muscle in the neck. The biggest muscle in front of the neck is called what? Platysma. Right? So we are now in the muscular system, Dr. Bachari. What's it called? Platysma. Okay, I want you to go to the dissection mode. Let's dissect now. Even though we cannot dissect cadavers, we do it at UCLA, but here we can do it virtually. You go to the dissection mode there, see that? Mm -hmm. Click. How do you know it works? Because there's blue, right? Okay, everyone, go to the platysma on the right side. With the use of your scalpel, with the use of your scalpel, dissect the right platysma muscle. Fuck! It's gone. What is the muscle underneath the platysma, my dear students? Sternocleidomastoid. Why is it called sternocleidomastoid? Because it's attached to three. Sternum? Clado means clavicle and what? The mastoid process of what bones? Temporal bones. Temporal bones. Oh my goodness, you're so smart. Okay, let's go to the muscle in front of your chest. What is the name of that muscle? Pectoralis major. Very good. Now, if we dissect, you see the scalpel there in front of you? Right? Now, put your fingers in front. Okay, click. And what do you see? OMG. For Dr. G. What do you call the muscles in between the ribs? Internal, intercostal, external and internal intercostals. Okay, let's move to the right side here. What do you call the serrated muscles? Serrated is what? Anterior. Very good. What is that muscle for? When you go what? Okay, everybody do this. It's called scapular what? Protract. What is this? Protract. What muscle is responsible for protraction? Serratus anterior. Why? Because the muscles look like serrated teeth, you know? The, the teeth of the, the jaw, the, the, the shark. There. Okay. If I go like this, it's the external rhomboid, right? Okay, now below, what do you call these muscles here? External what? Okay. I want you to dissect that white linea alba. What does linea mean? Line. What does alba mean in Spanish? White. It's a game of words. Dissect the linea alba, dear student, your scalpel. There you go. OMG. I used to have a six pack. I now have a one pack of fat. Is that funny, Miss Bellera? Do I need to exercise, Miss Bellera? Yes, Miss Bellera. What is the name of that muscle, Miss Bellera? Rectus abdominis. Rectus abdominis. What does rectus mean? Straight. What does abdominis mean? Abdominal muscle, right? Okay. Let's go to the back class. Let's go to the back. Everybody. Okay. What's the biggest muscle at the back of your neck? Trapezius. Okay, I want you to dissect the trapezius, please. On the right. When you dissect the trapezius, what muscle do you see? Now, do you remember, what is that muscle for? If the serratus anterior is protract, what is retract? Wrong boys. What is retract? What is retract? Repetition is the mother of all retention. Who said that? I did, okay. So that you will not forget and always, so that you will get a perfect score in the exam. Okay, what is that muscle that forms the V-shape? Latissimus dorsi. If you go to the gym, do you use the lats machine? How many of you go to the gym? Very good, including me. Now, what is that favorite muscle of yours at the butt? Okay, touch your butt. What muscle is that? When I tell the nurse, I want you to do an intramuscular injection in the gluteus. Is it in the... Shoulder or in the butt? butt? Is that gluteus maximus? Yes. yes. Where else do we do intramuscular injection? Deltoid. deltoid. The deltoid. Everybody go to your deltoid on the right. You see the deltoid there? Yes. Yeah. See, the doctor tells you, do a five milligram injection of the deltoid. Is the deltoid in the butt or in the shoulder? Shoulder. Very good. So why is anatomy very important? It is the foundation of what? Nursing and medicine. 
Now, even though we don't have cadavers, this is our virtual cadaver dissection. Now, what do you call the muscle in front of the arm? Everybody touch your muscle here. What is this called? Okay, bend your, bend your elbow, flex, flex the elbow. What muscles involved there? Biceps. Bicep brachii. What about if you extend the elbow? Everybody touch your triceps. Go like this. It's called what? Tricep brachii. Did that come out in the exam today? Yes. In the pig muscles. Very good. Tricep brachii. Okay, let's move on to the front thigh muscles. What is that called? Quadriceps, right? The rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, zastus medialis, and, okay, let's dissect, let's dissect the rectus femoris class. Amazing. What do you see underneath? Vastus intermedius. In other words, how many muscles do we have for the quadriceps? What does quad mean? So what are they? Rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and vastus what? Medialis. Okay, everybody, go to the back of the thigh. Careful to the camera. Okay, what do you see the muscle there? You're not on my hologram, it's okay. It's fine. We still can learn. Yeah, what? Half strings made up of what? Vastus femoris? Semitendinosus and dissect the semitendinosus. OMG. What do you see? Very good. Now, go to the leg muscles. You touch your calf muscles. What is that called? Gastric has two heads, medial and lateral head. Now, dissect the gastric nemius. Dissect. Go ahead. There you go. What's the muscle underneath the gastrocs? Both the gastroc and soleus are attached to what tendon? What is another name for calcaneal tendon class? Achilles tendon. Okay. How many have suffered from Achilles tendonitis? Nobody plays tennis here or basketball? Okay. Now, let's move on to the nervous system class. I want you to go to the menu on the Left, get rid of muscular, and then now you have to go where? Yes. Nervous. Okay. What do you see there? You see the brain? What is the extension of the brain that passes to the foramen magnum class? It's called, what passes to the foramen magnum? An extension of the human brain. The spinal cord ends at L1 and L2. You see that? Can you see the hologram there? There you go. Okay, let's go to the brain cerebrum. What do you call the lobe in front? Now we are now in the nervous system for our guests. After the muscles, we move to the brain. It's covered by what? Meninges, dura mater, right? Okay. Now let's try to get rid of that dura mater, they say. Okay, when you go to the right, you have the parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and then what? Does that being labeled now? Okay, what is that structure of the brain underneath that looks like a cauliflower? Okay, cerebellum. Can anybody tell me what is the cerebellum for? So look at me, class. Why do you think I'm able to do this? My cerebellum is intact. It's called what? Balance, right? Remember? Karate kid? How, why am I able to walk straight? Cerebellum. cerebellum. If a patient has a problem with the cerebellum, he walks as if he is what? Drunk. Even though he did not take in alcohol, right? What's wrong with the patient? Cerebellum. Where the lesion is, where the problem is? Cerebellum. The cerebellum of the brain. And where is the cerebellum? There it is, beautiful. Okay? Is that the cerebellum? Okay? Now, what is the name? Of the extension of the a brain again, class? Spinal, spinal, the spinal cord. cord. Okay? Now, what do you see in the brain that are filled with cerebrospinal fluid? I want you to click on that and try to get rid of the cerebral hemispheres. And you will be able to. You can just, you can just click on the white one. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Where's your brain? 
Were you able to see the ventricles of the brain? Okay, so I, you see the spinal cord, right? Okay. Do you have any questions? What do you call the nerves arising from the spinal cord? Spinal nerves. What do you call the nerves arising from the brain? Cranial nerves. How many cranial nerves do we have? 12. How many spinal nerves do we have? 31 pairs of spinal nerves. Very good. Again, class, what do you call the spaces in the brain that contain cerebrospinal fluid? Now, there are ventricles in the brain, but there are also ventricles in the heart. So which are we are we referring to in the brain? Right? Okay. What do they contain? Cerebrospinal fluid. Very good. Do you have any questions so far? Are we good? Yeah, we have reviewed the skeletal system. We have reviewed the muscular system. And we have reviewed what? Okay, anybody with questions? I'm here to answer them. What is it that you do not understand or you want to clarify with? Now, where does the spinal cord pass through? In the bones, of the occipital bone. It's called the foramen what? What does foramen mean? Hole. What does magnum mean? Big hole. Enough for the spinal cord to go through, right? Do you understand? So the cranium and the skull itself protects the brain. What protects the spinal cord? The spinal column or what? The vertebral column. So why, why does the brain need protection? It's made up of soft neural tissue, while your bone is form of what? A form of connective what? Tissue. Do you understand? Do you have any questions, class? So if you want to review again, because we still have time, you're so fast. We still have in our schedule here, where is my schedule? We have what? The registration 1010 to 1040, review of skeletal muscular. So we still have around uh, 10 minutes. If you want to study on your own, go ahead. The midterm exam will be given around 1040, 1045. Go ahead, take a look on the skeletal, muscular, and nervous system. You can spend the time reviewing. I suppose all of you already have uh, logged in, right? Yeah. And once you have logged in, once you have reviewed everything, then you can actually be able to what? Take the test if you want to. <laughs> There is an exam term, or we need to take the skeletal, the nervous, and muscle. No, no. There is a, a, there is a. If the midterm exam, it's not the great. It's a graded midterm exam. The graded midterm exam. If you go to uh, master, once you log in, you go to mastery mode. You have a list of exams. Make sure you take the AR midterm exam. That's a graded test. Okay. If you are ready. Can yes, you can take it if you're ready. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for it. Thank you. Okay. So you can take the test now if you want to. Okay. And once you're done with the test, I will look at your scores here. Uh, can we have a pretest or? Yeah, you can take a test now if you want to. It's a pretest. Huh? A pre no, no, no more pretest. That's created test. No. So we don't take the pretest. Right. Sure. The real thing. The real thing. The real thing. Don't worry, it's so easy.
how is your work? Yeah. Were they able to use it? Yeah. Okay. They were able to. They didn't get anything. Alright. That's all. So people know where to go. Yeah. That is more able to be like. Yeah. Once you have a score, come to me. I will confirm. No pretense. Just go to the test. There are only 12 or 13 items. Very few items. It was pretty good. Probably the best. Okay. <laughs>